What's up everybody? Midwest Brew Review. I'm Billy. This is Brian. This is Matt. I feel like we haven't been together in so long. It's been a while. It's been a while. Have we been right? together for the new year? Yeah, the three of us. Have we been together for the new year? Yeah, I don't I, even I know. Can't happy, even happy New Year. Happy New Year, I guess. It's so, February. yeah, but today is a very special day. We're in Elmhurst, Illinois. Elmhurst Brewing Company, second year anniversary. Smooth Jammies party. Smooth Jammies release. How many? How many are they releasing? Like I five or six know. of them. This place is pretty cool on the inside, though. This is pretty sweet. So, what do you say? Uh, yeah. Let's go in. All right. We are in the brew room at Elmer's Brewing with the guys who make it happen. Um, guys, this is uh, two years for you, right? Yep, absolutely. That's incredible. Um, we actually had to come back here because it's so loud out there. Everyone's out there having a good time. Um, how this all happened? How this how this brewery come to be? What what was your goal? What's your goal going forward? I want to hear the whole story. Ready? How much time we got? Woo, go. <laughs> you realize there's a party going on out there. <laughs> You dragged us out of. Uh, so yeah, we're two years old. Two yeah, years old. It's, it's, it's cheers. Cheers. All right. Made it. Cheers. cheers. So uh, Pete and I live in Elmers, and uh, we both wanted to uh, quit our careers and uh, bring beer to Elmers. There was no brewery in Elmers, and um, we wanted to make it happen. So we were lucky enough to find Cam, our amazing head brewer, who was uh, kind of hot and sweaty down in Texas. He wanted to come up here and freeze his. Uh, Hops off, <laughs> and uh, he did. Yeah. And we're very lucky to have him. And uh, two years later, he's churning out some amazing stuff. Yes. And, uh, very happy. Oh. So tonight is all about the smooth yeah. jammies, though. Yes. So we we've had we actually had the base beer one year ago yeah. at uh, Westmont Beer Fest, yeah. and it was one of our favorites at the festival because it tastes like the cookie. I mean, I, we love the as advertised beers. You guys really nailed the the flavors on this. Matt, you said this earlier. Matt's behind the camera right now. When you exhale on this beer, it's like it finishes with this. It's like you just ate an oatmeal cookie, guys. This is incredible, wonderful. This is my first Elmhurst Brewing beer. Love it. I can't wait to actually go to the brewery, try more beers. Maybe we can talk with the brewers there, see how they do this. So full disclosure, yeah. <laughs> I did throw actual cookies. <laughs> <laughs> um, chef made those cookies in the kitchen right up the hallway. Oh, fantastic. And so they were house made cookies and they all went into the mash. Okay. Um, so and it's really just sugar and oats and stuff that's going to get broken down in the mash and ultimately turn into fermentable stuff for the yeast later on. Cam uh, last year and this year created five different variants of smooth jammies. Uh, uh, six. Uh, six. This yeah. year is six. This, this, the six, the six new this introduction is the, the BBBA jammies, the vanilla bean. Uh, bourbon barrel jammies. Vanilla's gotten super expensive recently and uh, met this guy who had gone to Madagascar in November to get vanilla. He'd come back over to the United States and his vanilla shipment didn't show up. Turns out this little group of people that he was uh, procuring his vanilla from uh, weren't like super legit and everything. So he made a couple phone calls, found a guy that was like, I know someone that can help you get your vanilla. And so he's like, oh cool, like call this guy, help me get my vanilla. Didn't realize that he was hiring a hitman to get his vanilla contract procured. Um, a couple weeks later, it turns out that he had hired like four like Madagascarian uh, military personnel to go like uh, influence this guy to complete the vanilla contract. Um, so the vanilla got over here, um, and then he shipped me a couple of the couple of the beans that he got straight from Madagascar. So tossed the beans into the uh, into the Chicago distilling bourbon barrels, um, let them sit there for a couple months, and just came out with this like super kind of creamy, intense vanilla character. So you, you, like, afterwards, you've but. heard of Blood Diamonds? Yeah, so, <laughs> this is like Blood yeah, Vanilla. Blood yeah, Blood Vanilla. Yeah. Blood beans. Yeah. Blood beans. Blood beans. All right, so what? what so beans. we have the vanilla bourbon barrel. 
And what else do we have? Can you give us a quick rundown? Uh, of all so the vanilla products? bourbon barrel, there's the regular bourbon barrel. Both of those were in uh, Chicago distilling uh, Blind Tiger bourbon barrel. We've got uh, the blue barrel, which um, I threw uh, 42 pounds of blueberries into a 30 gallon barrel and let it ferment out in the wood. Then we've got uh, the Delaware's jammies, uh, Szechuan peppercorn and habanero pepper. But then we've also got uh, the regular smooth jammies and bananas in pajamas. All right, so we're two, yeah. year, two years in. Where, where, where are we going? Where, where do you see yourself in the next year or two? What do you guys think? Uh, Got any big plans? My first answer is I'm going to grow my beard back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can, we, can we get a little I, bit uh, of an explanation about this stash? I'm embarrassed. I didn't know you guys were coming. <laughs> well, actually I did, but we have an 80s prom party tonight. A friend of mine's turning 40, so I shaved it down for this. I'm extremely embarrassed. We're, we're looking. We're, look, we're looking at expansion, so we, we don't have uh, anything we want to reveal yet, but we're uh, Fraser and I are dyed in the wool entrepreneurs, so growth is in our blood, so we're always looking at next steps. Uh, yeah. But we're very happy where we've come in two years. Uh, we've got a very stable business that we want to keep uh, growing into the future. So we got yeah. that's where we wanted to be in two years. So we're very happy about that. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Well, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Hey, thanks thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. That's us in here at Elmhurst Brewing for the Smooth Jammies party. Guys, that was awesome. Also, I'm in a robe. Smooth Jammies is great. There's six of them, and we had all of them. What do you guys think? Incredible. Incredible beer, incredible brewery. Very cool spot to come to. It's, it's not an industrial park. Um, it's, a, no. it's just a very nice spot in Elmhurst. Great. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here. And you can hear the music. It's getting loud in here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and before we sign off from here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and just about everywhere else. Brian's on Farmers Only if you want to follow him. Uh, but that just about does it for us, right guys? Are we done? I think we're done. done. Okay. Thanks, so guys. Remember, it's just beer. But it's pretty damn good. See it's Elmer's Great Brewing. Yeah. Elmer'sBrewing.com. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I the finger gun at the end. Changed my whole personality. <laughs> he's, a, he's a finger gun guy now. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>